Welcome back, Summoners, to another Pro Guides mid patch analysis video. My name is Christoph, and in this video, I'm going to be going over the strongest champions using fresh statistics to give you guys the most accurate tier list available. We encourage everyone to comment on our tier lists and champion placements and say if you agree or disagree with our opinions on certain champions. A lot has changed since the beginning of patch 9.6, and there's a lot to cover, so let's jump right into it. There are a lot of changes made to our top lane tier list since the start of the patch. The top lane meta has changed drastically in the past week due to a lot of unusual picks being introduced to the meta. To start things off in our S tier, we welcome two new members, Hecarim and Kale. Kale's win rate has only been going up since her release, and she's considered one of the strongest champions in the game right now. Although she was nerfed at the start of the patch, the few quality of life changes she received helped her tremendously. Many high elo Korean players have been finding great success with her in the top lane while using Kleptomancy and going a hybrid build. She is sitting at a 70% win rate if the game hits a 40 minute mark, which pretty much makes her the new Kassadin, but on steroids. Hecarim has also been seeing a lot more play in Korean solo queue due to the buffs he received at the start of the patch. We're seeing a lot of top laners take Conqueror on Hecarim and just straight up dominating the laning phase. We highly recommend you try this out since not many people have caught on to how strong this is yet, so it'll catch your opponents by surprise. You might remember that Urgot got a mini rework at the start of this patch. The Crabman is finally back but isn't strong enough to be considered an S tier top laner just yet. This may be due to players still adjusting to his new playstyle so we'll keep a close eye on his win rate but keep him in our A tier for now. However, there is a new role in which Urgot is so broken that he's being spammed right now by a ton of high elo players. We'll talk about it later on in this video, so make sure to stay tuned. For patch 9.6, our analysts recommend you pick up Hecarim in the top lane. Like we recommended before, not a lot of people have caught on to how strong he is yet, and you'll definitely catch your opponents off guard. On top of that, he's fairly easy to play, and you can win pretty much any 1v1 after his Triforce power spike. Try him out and let us know what you think below. Lastly, our unique pick for the top lane this patch is AD Kale. At the start of the patch, Kale's adaptive damage from runes has been changed from AP to AD, which really helps out this specific playstyle. A lot of players have been going full AD Kale with Triforce, which isn't what you typically see in your average games. It's a different playstyle than usual and can be really helpful if your team comp is AP heavy, so make sure to give this a go. The jungle tier list for our mid-patch analysis video will remain very similar to the last one we had previously, but in our S tier, we welcome a new member, Kha'Zix. This shouldn't come as a surprise to you since he's been in and out of our S tier for the past few patches, but has finally solidified his stance in the meta. Rek'Sai will remain in our S tier even after the nerf she received at the start of the patch due to how strong her early game is. She's still the best jungler in solo queue right now and will likely remain at the top for the next few weeks. Most notable A tier picks for patch 9.6 are Kindred and Elise. These two champions are very close to making the push to S tier and are seeing competitive play all around the world. We don't recommend you jump into ranked right away with Kindred since she's one of the more difficult champions in the game, but try her out in a few normal games if you're interested in climbing. Talia has been making a comeback in jungle since the start of patch 9.6. We're not exactly sure why she's been seeing this sudden increase in play, but she's sitting at a comfortable win rate in the jungle right now, but is only a B tier champion at best. Lastly, Urgot jungle has popped out of nowhere this patch. Almost all the pro junglers are spamming him in solo queue due to the changes made on his W combined with the Conqueror rune. There still isn't enough data to place him properly on our tier list, but our analysts predict that he will be between A and S tier this patch. The main reason Urgot is so strong in the jungle is due to the removal of his passive, which reduced damage on the same target. His early game clear is a lot faster than before, so make sure you're prepared to face him in your next few solo queue games. Trundle was buffed at the start of patch 9.6, but sadly these buffs were not big enough to make a significant impact on his stance in the meta. Trundle remains in our B tier list for now and will need a lot of love to return to his former glory. For patch 9.6, our analysts recommend you pick up J4 in the jungle. His playstyle and win rate have been going up for the past few patches now and he's seeing a ton of play in competitive matches. In addition to that, he has a very straightforward style and only takes two to three games to get the gist of how he plays. Lastly, our unique pick in the jungle is full AD Skarner. Instead of the traditional Cinder Hulk route, try going Warrior and Triforce on Skarner instead. If you've never played against a full AD Skarner before, you'll be surprised at just how much burst this champion has. Combine all his crowd control with the Conqueror rune and you'll start to hit like a truck. 
Our mid lane tier list for our mid patch analysis video has a few changes made to it since the start of the patch. In our S tier, we have Zed, Silas, Cassidin, Lissandra, Ari, and Vladimir. Vladimir is the newest member of our S tier mid laners and is one of the most underrated picks in the meta. He's definitely in need of a major nerf, but he's been untouched for multiple patches. Ari is sitting at the highest win rate in the mid lane right now, and her Glacial Augment build is the way to go. She will be our unique pick for patch 9.6 due to just how strong she is in the meta right now. GLP combined with the Spooky Ghost can make a pretty nasty combo. Try her out and let us know how that goes. Talia is back on top and is insanely strong right now. Her win rate and play rate have been going up an insane amount and she's seeing a decent amount of competitive play as well. You might be wondering, if there are no balance changes made to Talia in the past few patches, then why is she getting more popular? Well, it isn't really about Talia becoming stronger, but more that her unfavorable matchups are getting weaker. LeBlanc, Zoe, Akali, Yasuo, Aatrox, Irelia, and Jace are all seeing much less play, which allows Talia to return to the meta. LeBlanc was nerfed at the start of the patch in 9.6, and her win rate has dropped by a sizable amount. She is still a decent pick in the meta right now, but will sit in our A tier for mid laners. Kale will be moved up to our B tier this patch, despite being an S tier pick for the top lane. This is mainly due to Kale having better matchups as a top laner, where she can safely farm for late game. Zoe has been dropped down to B tier due to the nerfs being more impactful than what our analysts predicted. For patch 9.6, our analysts recommend you pick up Malzahar in the mid lane. Much like Talia, a lot of his bad matchups are leaving the meta right now, so he's making a comeback. Malzahar is one of the easiest mid laners in the game, and you can set up free kills at level 6, so make sure you tilt the enemy mid laner with your ultimate. The ADC tier list has a lot of changes made to it compared to our previous one from last week. The first thing you might notice is Vayne sitting at the S plus tier all by herself. She's one of the strongest AD carries in the meta right now and is a notch above the other champions. The buffs made to her ultimate and Q combined with the reworked ADC items have made her a monster in the laning phase and in team fights. Ezreal was nerfed pretty heavily at the start of patch 9.6 and he's dropped down to our A tier. He's still a great pick for solo Q and might actually make the push to S tier again soon. Instead of going double tier, pro players in Korea have been purchasing Luden's Echo instead of Archangels. The concept is the same, after getting your Sheen item and Mura mana, you focus more on AP to increase your massive burst from your W. Zaya and Caitlyn have both been buffed at the start of the patch, but these buffs weren't enough to move them up to our S tier. They are noticeably stronger now and are great pickups for patch 9.6, but just aren't strong enough to be considered S tier. In our S tier, we welcome a new member, Miss Fortune. Miss Fortune was a B tier pick last tier list, but has made the push to S tier with a new OP build. Press the attack with a Blade of the Ruined King rush has popped out of nowhere and is dominating Korean solo queue right now. Try it out in your next few ranked games and watch your opponent's LP melt away. For patch 9.6, our analysts recommend you try out Zaya in the bottom lane. The buffs made to her W has allowed her to become a more independent pick, and she is a lot stronger in lane than before. Also, if you have a dual partner, you can ask them to play Rakan and maximize your chances at winning. Lastly, our unique pick for patch 9.6 in the bot lane is Stormraiser Rush Kaisa. This build has been known for quite some time now, but rushing Stormraisers with a Doran's Blade allows you to evolve your Q and E very quickly. Try it out in your next few normal games and the results will speak for themselves. The support list for our mid lane patch analysis video will also have a few changes made to it since the start of the patch. In S tier, we have Janna, Morgana, Thresh, Soraka, and Nami. Shielding and healing supports like Janna, Soraka, and Nami are making a comeback due to the new Athene's Unholy Grail rush item path. This specific build style has been appearing all over the world and has an extremely high win rate in Korean Challenger. So next time, instead of the traditional Ardent Sensor on Redemption Rush, try Athene's and you won't be disappointed. For patch 9.6, our analysts recommend you pick up Janna in the bottom lane. A new OP build path has been showing up recently, and it's W Max Arcane Comet with Athene's Unholy Grail Rush. With this build, you can bully out the enemy bot lane super easily, and your W will chunk out 15% of your opponent's health bar each time. This is a super underrated build, and we highly recommend it. Our unique pick for supports in patch 9.6 is Zareth in the bottom lane. Although he's more traditionally played as a mid laner, we recommend you try him out as a support in a normal game. He can be really oppressive in the right hands and can suffocate the enemy AD carry from getting any farm. That's it for our mid patch analysis video from 9.6. If you enjoyed watching this video, then please leave a like, comment, and subscribe to our channel to be notified for the next video. 
And please make sure to check out our website, ProGuides.com, for some free content and guides that were made by your favorite pro players. Thanks again for watching, and I'll see you guys on the Rift. <laughs>